what's going on YouTube uh, in this video as you can see by this dude's tag if you're on Xbox you know who this is I'm gonna be playing um, a Michael Vick RPO glitcher as right here under pressure and accurate on the first play of my uh, offensive series but um I started this video a little late I hit I forgot to hit record when the game started I really didn't know what he was gonna run and then after watching and witnessing his first drive I'm like okay I gotta record this and right here also, I mean, you can see on the defensive side of things, he's running that Mills defense, that 4-3-1-1, that under pressure, uh, fluke DDA defense, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's definitely the best blitz in the game. And there's a way you could get Cam Chancellor safety at linebacker, which makes it 10 times better. And he's doing that. It's right here. Look at this. We have Lawrence Taylor, Sean Taylor, uh, and we're just still not able to hawk down Vic. He has one pass for a touchdown. That's pretty much solely because I sold out on the run. But you'll see, man. You'll see coming up shortly that Michael Vick, Jets theme team, RPO glitch is damn near unstoppable. It's right here. Here he goes. And well, how many yards? He has two rushes for 35 yards. So just keep count till the end of the game because I'm going to try to scratch and cr crawl my way back into this game. But this is more of an informative video to let you guys know that RPO glitch he gets back. And that Michael Vick with that 95 speed, I want to say, with that Jet Steam team is probably your sole option. Um, Jet Steam team is super cracked, especially if you're running this type of meta, this type of scheme. So, yeah, man, I don't know what formation this is. It's some type of two tight ends. And, you know, it has a couple good runs in it as well. Let's not act like the runs, um, you know, are bad. You know, you got to sell out for the RPO glitch. Um, and then you also got to stop the pass whenever he rarely passes. And last but not least, you got to stop Kurt, Curtis Martin. It's right here. He's going to show us what's up. I try to shoot the gap. I try to click on, and it just doesn't matter. Um, that was even that ba bad of a carry compared to some of the stuff you'll see later on in the game. But, man, I was going through it. This was my playoffs on Madden Seasons. I'm still rocking Raiders 50. Uh, sorry for the lack of Raiders theme team videos. I've kind of just been like contemplating what theme team to use is right here. He has amazing stick work with nice little cutback. And man, that was nice. Uh, that's the only play I'm going to give him credit for in this game. Uh, if you want to rewind it, go ahead. I know it kind of chopped up a little bit, but he did a nice little cutback when I shot the dive, shot the inside zone, and he ended up getting seven off it. It's right here, man. We are going to get another under pressure and accurate on a simple flat route. So, um, you know, I will say I haven't played this defense too many times. Obviously, we know the coverage is very bad. But that's why you go ahead and slap on some mid zones, some acrobats, and last but not least, under pressures. That's everything this guy has right here. And trust me, I've tried. I've wanted to try this defense. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but I could definitely see myself running this, you know, here and there if I need to get a stop. It's right here. This is what I like to do a lot as I have a very late read. I like to audible down to Deuce Close because Deuce Close is very effective versus this type of uh, blitz. You can block both tight ends. They're both on the line. No more delay fades, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, you could easily pick this up and dot. And you'll see me audibly into this, uh, staying in bunch a lot. With that new Evan Ingram that just came out, this is very doable. It's right here. Nice little bench dot. Um, he actually played great defense, and I was surprised I got a lot of time, but, you know, if you get time, you can really just dot up any defense in this game without any hesitation. It's right here. We are going to go back to this crossing route and this, um, you know, little check and release delay, I guess you could call. And I'm telling you, uh, this 4-3-1-1 definitely has a lot of trouble versus uh, the way I play offense. So if you've been struggling versus 4-3-1-1, you run bunch or, you know, trips, any type of passing set, highly recommend audibling down and, you know, freestyling some routes. Uh, make sure you have those slot apprentices on. I personally have a route apprentice on AB at this time. I have a slot apprentice on Robbie. And my last guy, Jerry Rice, I still rock in Raiders 50. Uh, he also has slot apprentice as well. And the only bad thing for AB is that, you know, he's a little slow. It's right here. Easy dot to Jared Cook. I truck very, very uh, prematurely. Um, nothing really wrong with that. Sometimes you get a glitch truck animation if you truck early. As right here, you're gonna see me. Um, you can easily run both. As right here, I actually had the right left, the left seam open, more open than the right. But I mean, either or works for me. I was able to, you know, convert that all the way to the eight. And here we go. We're gonna try to run this in with Cordero Patterson, and we get all the way to the one. 
And in this play, in this game, I'm rocking Panthers playbook. So you know, you've been seeing me run in Seattle, you've seen me run Colts, and now I'm finally back to my day one offense, Carolina. And I feel very nice with it, man. It, it very like it suits the meta very well. There are a couple freestyle formations I want to work on. Um, this being one of them, this gun type wide off is right here. This is my red zone. Fortunately, it's not going to work too well. I have left side wide open, but you know, versus an all out blitz like this, uh, this play does take some time to develop. Uh, it's really, really good in the red zone, but like I said, man, when someone's all out blitzing, you could you could definitely mess up a little bit. It's right here. We're going to make a nice little AB dot low ball, and um, you know, that's just AB for you, man. And there goes his signature doing a front flip. Antonio Brown, man, I really do wish he played a snap for the Raiders. Um, for both aspects, man. You know, I enjoy watching AB as a player. Uh, over the years, you know, we kind of like gave him criticism. But, you know, that's definitely gone away at this point, I feel like. And then obviously, I want that 97 Antonio Brown, 97 speed Antonio Brown on my Raiders theme team. It's right here. Here we go, man. Back to the wishing well of RPO glitching. And this time he does it on first down and like, look how fast this dude is. Not to mention, you don't even have to worry about fumbling if you go on conservative. And I also think, you know, you could be on balance as well and not fumble. So um, there's just a whole lot of things I got to go against with this RPO glitch and this Michael Vick. He's right here. He's going to do it again. But we shoot the gap this time and blow up the run. Um, the only thing I can't do, unfortunately, is blow up the RPO glitch. You're going to see me over and over and over and over again try to do it. And, you know, I, I, I don't know if this is a nice video to make because there's going to be a lot of y'all running this in Weekend League. I already know it. But uh, if it does come down to that, man, you know, I can't blame anyone but myself. As you see right here, I'm selling out, man. I'm running cover four. I'm clicking R3 every time, you know, he's running to send my safety, send my spies to make sure, you know, like, okay, play the run. I'm doing that every single time right off the bat, and it, nothing is working, man. Nothing is working at all. It's right here. Inside zone again. We stuff it. So, you know, the run itself wasn't the issue. It was more of the RPO glitch because you add that escape artist. You had that 95 speed, and it's like, really, what can I do? It's right here. Third and goal, man. I'm feeling like, okay, you know what? He got an under-pressure pick to start off the game. I get ball a half. I could easily cut this to a one-possession game out of half if I hold him to three right here. And let's see what happens. I don't know why I ran this defense. I should have all out sold again, but, you know, it is what it is. He actually doesn't get there, but, you know, he's going to go for this, man. He ends up getting six yards, and, you know, that's that was more than enough for him to go for this. Um, I've heard stories about this guy, Chronic Bead, going for, like, freaking fourth and 20s, fourth and 15s, and getting it with the RPO glitch. So here we go, man. Same thing again. Uh, RPO glitch for the cheese and he just runs right by Lott, Ronnie Lott like Ronnie Lott just had no chance of getting them and look at the old lineman doing the LeBron celebration and yeah that's going to be the first half you know uh I'm still going to resume this gameplay but man I don't know how I'm going to get a stop I still don't know how to get a stop some people have tried to tell me okay you could do this this and that for Rundy but uh at least the only thing I can say is at least this is banned for the tournaments thank god but in weekend league, this is free. This is free will. You know, run it at your you know extent. Run it as much as you want. Uh, do you, man? Do you? If you need those free wins, those cheap wins for weekend league, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, I know how hard weekend league could be. I would never resort to doing this. Maybe, maybe like at the end of the year. But I really do feel like this is the cheesiest thing that's been out in a minute. Um, arm bar, maybe you could say, yeah, that, that was really broken. But this right here is on a whole nother level. It's right here. Dot again. Uh, I don't have sideline dead eye on, but I've noticed with Josh Allen, it's like 75, 25% with the sideline dead eye and the throws on the run. Um, just got to hope that 25% isn't, you know, a crucial moment. It's right here. Another dot. And, you know, we were, we were picking up this, picking apart this defense towards the end. I feel like, you know, a few people can run it really well. But obviously, Mills, the guy who rep, you know created this defense, is the number one guy who you know uh, could run it the best. Obviously, but you know it's good to play for reps. You never know who would rock this in a tournament. I've even thought about myself. I know I said a little bit earlier, like if I need like a rat last resort, you know, if I want to cycle through defenses, because that is something I've done in the past. It's right here, nice high ball dot. I'm kind of surprised that Cam Chancellor wasn't underneath it enough. But um, you know, there we go, back to a one possession game. 
But what I was saying is like I I've done it in the past. Is like I resort, you know, I cycle through defenses if I need be. I always like to run one set defense, but in this game, man, I feel like if you could cycle through defenses, it could be, you know, it could be very helpful. Like, you know, running wide in the goal line and running this 4-3-1-1 on the goal line would be very uh, annoying to play against. And just from there, you know, freestyle and cycle through your defenses with your, you know, adjustments that you know. It's right here, back to the gun wing offset, I want to think. I want to say this is called. Um, it just showed on the screen, and I, I, I just couldn't read it. It's right here, inside zone. So honestly, I started picking up on his tendencies. It really doesn't matter, however. But um, every first down, you know, he would just run gun wing slot weak. So if you want to glitch, that's your formation you want to run. And the play itself, um, I'll read it in a second because I 100% know he's about to do it. Every second down, this man's love to do it. And there he goes again, Michael Vick. And he, he slid for whatever reason, even though he knows he's not going to fumble the play itself is called the RPO Power T Alert Glance. And I might have to take a screenshot and make that my uh, thumbnail. That right there is the most broken play back in full effect. We, it thought, we thought it was gone. It came back. It's right here, Curtis Martin. Like I said, man, the old one trap, those type of inside zones. I was, really ha wasn't having any type of issues with it. The pass, you know, he passed one time. He threw a dot. Um, he actually did throw a dot. I can't lie. I wish I was recording that. It's right here. You're going to see me run commit. No matter. No matter. Run commit. No matter. I almost did shoot the gap, but, you know, that escape artist, that fast ass, that fast break, um, you know, not the ability itself. He might have it. You never know. But that, you know, fast jump off that the QB gets with escape artists compared to how sluggish our users are. Um, someone said it before, and it's 100% true. QBs in this game are the only player with like full control and like they don't feel sluggish at all You could really like run around at will with your QB. You could swerve in and out of lanes You could do a lot of things with your QB I really do wish you know, it's like the QB and the user have full, you know movement um, But it's sadly just only the QB really and you know when it comes to it like more of an end game QBs and mutt that get gunsling uh, escape artists I really don't want to play that version of Madden. You know, I actually feel like I'll be very, very good. But the thing is, everyone will be very, very good. We've known in the past that I love my escape artists. I love my rollout dots, all that good stuff. But um, honestly, like at this current stature, current state, I'm literally playing run commit defense every play. And he could just continue to pass and pass and throw touchdowns because I'm run committing. But it just... You know, why would he do that when the RPO is so OP and so broken? So, uh, yeah, to say least, like, I can't, you know, when the skate artist and Gunslinger drops, that's going to be some crazy stuff going on. Um, obviously, no RPO glitching. Hopefully, hopefully it's taken out by then. But I'm sure there's going to be, like, some type of schemes that people figure out to run with those two abilities. And, whew, it's going to be almost like the hardest it's been to get a stop in this game. But I'm ready for it, man. I love me some escape artists, so, you know, I can't wait for one of those QBs to drop. I know Jake Plummer dropped or Pat Mahomes dropped, so those 95 overall QBs are dropping more and more often. I believe 96s um, with improviser, and then obviously I think they'd need the speed. 96 improvisers might get escape artists. That's what someone was telling me, um, you know. We'll just see when it comes out. It's right here, verticals to the right sideline. Three minutes left. Um, and, you know, it's crazy. The first play, it really affected the whole game. Um, when you're playing someone like this, an under pressure and accurate pick is going to cost you a lot. Because right now, man, it should be like 21 to 29 or, you know, 22 to 29, depending on if I got the two-point conversion or not. He uh, went for two on the first play of the game. Why wouldn't he? You know, he has an unstoppable run with a 95-speed QB. It's right here. More easy dots. I had uh, the running back more open than that, but, you know, everything is open right now. Um, I feel like this defense probably screens better on all Madden. And also, I don't know if this guy knows how to run it to the full extent. It's right here. Um, we, we, got, we get kind of lucky. We got another under pressure. I feel like that was going to be a dot. Passed it to the left. I didn't get the best pass lead. But he ends up hitting our guy, pass interference. He can't do that uh, at the last second. And, you know, we're going to try to get seven right here and make this a game. 
It's right here. Easy touchdown. Um, just let's try to see if we could get a stop, man. My man's ran on first down. And look at this, man. I'm not setting up defense at all. I'm thinking, okay, this guy's going to just take it to the two-minute warning. Nah, Pav. I'm going to RPO glitch you, get in field goal range, and end the game. I guess this is on me. But but any type of you know c competent players just take that to the two-minute warning. I was fully not expecting that. He ran like inside zone on first down. Didn't really get any yards. And then second down, I'm like, okay, you know what? We got a chance. We got him on a second down. Even though I've had him on like so many second downs in this game. And he ended up just running past my team. You know, let me try to start spying my safeties. That's what I was initially going to do as you see right here. That's what I do. And it played it better. It actually played it for once. Um, you know, so I'm like, okay. I should have done that on second down. But guess what? He just quick hikes my cover two, Tampa two out of three through five. Normal. And, you know, that was that. He ends up getting a first. Gets in field goal range. Um, game's still not over if we could somehow hold him to like you know, the 41 yard line he doesn't have a good kicker he has matthew Wright. um it's right here great d again hold him to the 40 yard line i'm not too sure if he can make this he doesn't have focus kicker and you know i'm telling you once i started spying the safeties i started seeing something better still you can't you can't do that man you can't spy your safeties and you know play the pass play the run and everything that's just not it man it's just comes down to the fact that this is too broken and look at me i'm so gullible and you'll see in a second i'm setting zone drops thinking okay you know what man he might pass right here he might pass psych he got me i can make a tackle but it's just too hard with the users in this game my man's is a sicko fourth and 12 for the bread we're gonna go rpo glitch right in front of you right in your face and there's nothing i could do about it as you see right here, I clipped it, and I'm just like, okay, what what, what happened, man? Where are my guys at? Everyone just drifted back. I contained, probably wasn't the move. I wanted to contain to hold the escape artist in the pocket. See right there, that was in my playoffs, and a legend playoffs loss. I was sick. I was salty, but, you know, I didn't send a message. And if you play this guy, man, all I got to say is good luck. Uh, this was definitely experience, but... Uh, Hopefully it gets banned. You know, I'm going to send some videos to some of those guys at EA and they'll take a look at that. But till next time, man, hopefully you enjoyed this type of video. This is more of a meme gameplay. Um, you know, the comp gameplays will resume shortly. Uh, tournament is coming up soon, December 4th. Uh, and then obviously the Thanksgiving tourney is starting tomorrow. Today is Thursday. And by the time you're watching this, probably some you will know some of the results. I don't think the tournament will be completely over with, but you will definitely know, okay, who won those first round matchups type of thing. Until next time, guys, maybe I can find a little D and make it a tip Tuesday. Um, we'll just see. Catch you guys later. Hopefully you don't run into cryonic bead on the leaderboards or just butt head to head because that is someone you do not want to play. I'll catch you guys though. Appreciate you guys watching. Consider leaving a like, sub, commenting, all that good stuff. Peace.